We just spoke with my colleague probably, yes guys. We probably don't do that for safety. Pardon? Oh, okay. Okay, cool. What's good everyone? My name is Mike Will at M.Visuals. Welcome to today's video. We're going to be doing a portrait shoot on the 14mm 1.8 Sony G Master lens. And we're here with Victoria, who's over here from the US. Hi, I'm Tori and I make cyberpunk content. So we're going to be using the perspectives around London to create some really cool content that's going to be at day uh, and at night. We're just going to kind of get creative and see how we can create on the 14mm 1.8. Let's get into it. Um. So one of the first things we're going to look for, because we're shooting on a super wide angle, is we're going to look for how we can use leading lines. So right now we have these lines coming in where it's a, what's it called? Zebra crossing. And yeah, basically it's got some nice symmetry here as well. So on a super wide angle, if we get low to yeah, kind of make it really distorted. So yeah, so I'm going to try a few things. Yeah, I don't really know. We're just going to get creative now. Cool, so I'm going to start off low because I want to get more of that in. Keep your weight on your back foot and then and then like have your foot like almost like... Oh, yeah, like that. Yeah, that's sick. Okay, so you guys won't be able to see this, but the lens is... Well, the camera's picking up uh, face auto detection, so it's banging. Oh, that's sick. That last one's sick. Okay, that's cool. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> well done. It's still um, warm out here. <laughs> oh. <It's> so <laughs> <laughs> Fuck sakes, we're still going? <laughs> that's what she just said. No, I'm good. Okay, so these are just going to be like full body, portrait -y. So yeah, let's get some different poses going. So that's how they're looking. They're just like quite like of a crop. Mm -hmm. You want to change anything? No, these are all your eye. You have a good eye. <laughs> Next thing we're going to attempt is to go on the wall at the end. So we're going to grab. I'm not going to leave our bags. You know how I feel about that. <laughs> and our base is getting back like, down. No. No. You're at the side of How far do you want me to go? Uh, that's, this is good. Oh, I just I can get, well, I prefer that staircase. It's like the, Okay, so right now we're shooting um, at 1.8. So the whole of this video, we're gonna be shooting at 1.8 and that's to create the most amount of depth we can with such a wide angle. So I'm kind of switching focus between maybe a hand, obviously a face. I may even just shoot some of the background to really see if we can create some cool different perspectives and angles. And they'll be on the screen very shortly. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. In fact, if I go, boy, that's mad. Pardon? Oh, okay. Okay, cool. All right, we'll finish up. Yeah, we got some cool stuff. Like, that's really nice with the, the, the focus Ooh, like switch. That. And then that's really cool. Permission to go anywhere in London, apparently. Try LA. Is it like LA? LA is the worst. Well, no, it's just frustrating, right? You go anywhere, and they're just like, oh, yeah, it's private property. Mate. Everywhere's private property. Everywhere's private property. Allow it, yeah? From the lovely lady over there that told us, like, I'm having a cigarette on a cigarette break right now. So, is she even working? Is that even allowed? Should I tell her she's not allowed to have a smoke and tell her what to do? Um, that is a shame. We'll do that somewhere else. That I was a bit of a, I should have told her no, I should have just kept shooting. But I'm, I'm actually really annoyed at myself right now. Sorry, wait, wait for your mom. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, Get really? out of here. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> Another thing to do when you are meeting your model is to just grab a coffee. It's a great way to interact and just start off the conversation. You can chat through some of your ideas, um, and then from there you can head up to locations and start shooting. You gotta redo your joke now. No, I cannot redo a joke. She's made a joke about English people. I didn't, no, go, I didn't go, go, I didn't... go, go to her page now and give her hate for being such an English hater. How's your cup of joe? I haven't drank it, it's too hot. It's actually really, this is really hot. You come to Joe's, ask for a little bit of cold milk on the side because it's going to take a while to drink it. Uh, but we are going to go here now. We are going here. So we're going there? We're going there, I yeah. climb up on there? You're going to climb up on there, yeah. Yes. You know, legit, like, how and do I get up there? You just the stairs, so you just walk around. Because oh. I would climb. Okay, well then maybe you can climb and you spider go up. <laughs> yeah, I won't take the stairs. <laughs> So something else uh, to think about when you are shooting with a model is to show them as you're going along. Some models love to see it, some models no, don't. I don't want to. She doesn't want to see it. But yeah, it's really important to offer them and obviously say as you're shooting and when you are shooting to, uh, as you go along to say, hey, listen, this is how it's looking. And potentially they'll want to change their position. Maybe their hair's not quite right. 
or whatever it is. And they can also come with some creative input and ideas. Oh, you're not ready? <laughs> okay, right. We just spoke with my colleague probably, yes guys, please don't do that for safety so you're not allowed to stop on this. Seems like real. I haven't been able to like adjust an angle yet. <laughs> <laughs> do it on this one, is that all of theirs, this, theirs? Can we stand on it again? Yeah, on this one over here. Grab, grab your stuff and I'll top it. Yeah, like, and then I'll basically, I'll make it look like you're like... How do I hold on? Mm. Put, your, put your foot up, higher. So I'm going to tap focus. Uh, no, yeah, so I'll show you. Just like show you, and then because the, the curvature of that building means what I might do is I'm going to put your hand down. Well, it fills the frame. Yeah, that's pretty better. Let me just shift. Okay, cool. So, right now, I'm just we've got uh, face auto detections on. We're filling the frame with her right foot, and then yeah, we're just kind of getting some dirt. And then bring that hand down just slightly. So it's just like here. So it's just like a perfect turn. Because it fills a gap. Just in just slightly the hand. Just stamping on the lens. Okay, so there's some depth. And then we're going to tap, tap focus. Okay, so I'm now going to try and actually I'll come here. Switch legs again. Okay, sick, yeah. <laughs> Stand? Uh, stand? Just, there's no crouch for now because it's just less attention. And then, can you just shift your body weight so you're shifting? So I have you in here, your, your head, yeah, there you go, like that. Okay, so yeah, hand up, yeah. Hold your hand there. So I'm basically trying to get you in that gap. What do we... Okay, come down. I don't know if standing works as well. All right, we're quickly gonna shoot here before we get kicked out. We're going to use the stairs, probably sit on the stairs, and then we're going to use the leading line of the staircase, the orange light and the blue kicking off the building right now, and then we're going to get them coming and telling us off. All on video. Yeah, go. Yeah, that's cool. I'm going to come down just slightly. Uh, yeah, maybe that's better, yeah. I'm going to try and get your foot in. So obviously on, on a 1.8, on the 14, a big thing is just how to create depth, and obviously it's super whoppy, so it's how can we kind of, you make the most of it, and that's obviously legs and arms kind of coming around the lens, tapping on different focus points as well, so not only tapping on, obviously, for eye autofocus, but also using feet or hands or whatever to create some cool depth. Cool, and then when you are shooting, direction is amazing. Luckily, Victoria is just changing. Every time she hears the, she's then changing position, but sometimes it may be great to direct, so maybe hand in the head, maybe hand towards the lens, yeah. maybe just turning slightly, body positioning, shouldering, and then looking out for lighting as well, so making sure the light's hitting your model's face in the right place. Um, is obviously great as well. So right now we have some light coming in from here, so maybe it's better to get her to look to the left. Um, but again, luckily I haven't had to direct too much. Um, also really important when you're going in or coming out, like just let your model know, I'm coming in or I'm coming out. No, that sounded a bit dodgy. <laughs> <laughs> Moving forward slightly, moving back slightly, just so then they're aware. Obviously also letting the model know what lens you're shooting on is another really good tip, because then obviously if you're on 85, they'll know you're slightly further away versus 35 or versus 14 where I've got to get quite close for a lot of it. Yeah, I'll close and personal. Yeah, I'll go full body. Okay, now we're just going for like, I'm just gonna show you what it is, but then you can see the frame. So it's just gonna be there. So just so you know like what, what we're, uh, so your hair up basically, yeah. Amazing. Is it? Compliments go a long way as well. Yeah, you have a compliment that's <laughs> fine. Okay, don't forget, we're just getting top half, okay? Got it. Okay, got it. So I'm in the middle right now, so I want to have your, your head in the middle of the... No, so you shift this way. There you go. Then, yeah, that's it. So you look great. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> good job, good job. The bright and security camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is less of a portrait and more of a look up, but... Uh, it's just a really sick spot, so I figured... We should definitely shoot it. Yeah, that's it. I'm into the middle of the two things. There you go. Shift this, make it down. There you go. Okay, come up. <laughs> Thank you.
done, boys. Very good. All right, so underground. Uh, that would be tragic. Oh, good. Okay, come down, come down. Sorry. Wait a sec, don't move. I was going to say, don't put your face on that. <laughs> yeah, bad idea. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what I'm seeing. Just so then, don't move a second. It's a long exposure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right over there. Okay, so that's that's what we're going like gonna get. But maybe only yeah, one hand on. Maybe this hand up instead. So this hand on, and then this hand's up over by, behind, or like yeah, or like leaning towards the camera, or just doing something else potentially. Okay, one tenth per second. One point eight. ISO two hundred. Yeah, that's cool. You need to lean back like you're about to like drop off. How's it look? Like this? Yeah. Or like that? Yeah, like that. That's cool. Okay, now we just wait for the bus. So I'll, I'll tell you when the bus is coming. That hand, lean towards the camera. There you go. There's movement in that hand. So you, need, you probably need to have your hand either on a, on a body part to, hop, to keep it. Okay, so you don't move, okay? Don't move at all. So ready, don't move. Sharp. Really sharp. Yeah, that's sick. That nice. works way better like with that. the with that. That was the one. Good teamwork. I came up with the idea. I'm glad I said let's use that chain as a as a prop. Props. It's great. We haven't talked does. about props yet. So props are a really good way to make something a little bit different. So props are a great way to then interact with your model. Whether it's glasses, whether it's a chain, whether it's a hair, hair. You put your hand, things you put your hands on. Actually, those are fucking sick. Okay. Okay, so we're still doing a long exposure. Oh. So don't forget not to move because basically, yep. the idea is then there's, there's going to be a blur behind you. Okay, don't move. Oh, I showed her that time and she liked it. I always say that, but I don't like any of the pictures <laughs> of it. Like if I'm in it, I'm like, oh, that's gross. Okay, so we just went for a bus. So. Am I doing good? Oh, you're doing great. <laughs> Thanks. You cold? Good job. No, I just oh, want to compliment. Are you mugging me off? <laughs> Sick. She likes them. Good job. I got a good job. I'm I'm getting uh, compliments. By the way, actually, I'm models, teaching. models out there. Don't be scared to compliment the photographers. So we've got some symmetry. So we're using leading lines. Just kind of like figuring out the frame here. Probably let's do a crab. Probably. Yeah, there seems to be yeah. Okay, so quick tip, obviously we're on the 14, but to make it sure that it lines up, my grid lines are on as well because we're in symmetry. We want to make sure we get it uh, symmetrical right away. I haven't got the A74 yet, so I can't actually like... This is the perfect time I'd love to use a flip screen. I'm just watching this stuff, but uh, I don't have a flip screen. Okay. Yeah, I think that's better. I'm going to come in. Yeah, tilt your head back just slightly because then we get some light. Yeah, that's really cool. So the, the reason that obviously the, it's more about like that would be the frame. So it's less about like for those ones obviously. Yeah. Try this, that's cool. Andy likes it. <laughs> I like you. Is there a bus? A bus? Is there a two? She just asked me to show her the pose. No, I'm not going to do that. I, I, I wouldn't want to put you out of a job. I wouldn't want to put you out of a job. I, okay. Yeah, I, I don't really know. <laughs> Trying to get your whole body in, but you're so long. <laughs> turn, it, turn it to portrait. Hey, there we go. So if we... Um, then we have to, it would have to match at the time. And how do I be really still? Yeah, but we can try it though. If, yeah. we, if we do that, that would be unreal. Yeah. Two, one, go. <laughs> But there's going to be a moment when you when you're on that tip. Three, two, one, go. So they might, there's going to be a moment basically when. We're close. It's so hard because it's that like. Try one more. So now we've got this wicked prop. We've got cyberpunk vibes right now. Close up portraits using the glasses. Uh, which will just give us a completely different look as well. Yeah, it's there to protect us from the 
Yeah, that's cool. Some exemptions apply. So at this spot, we've got some really cool leading lines of the station, and we're going to be using the reflection here uh, just to see what we can get. So spin it around, Andy, and you can see the reflection right now on the glass. On a super wide, it comes out great. <laughs> Maybe try the uh, hand up and then... Okay, let's try that for now, yeah. We'll try no hand to see how it works. Hand at the top works really nicely. And we'll just see if we can get a flat plane. You look insane. Because <laughs> you're concentrating so hard on something so close to your face. I know, I'm like cross eyed <laughs> <laughs> All right, you creep. Let's go, Gollum. Uh, the crouch or... Yeah. Huge thanks to Victoria at Tory Robot for shooting with us today. If you want to see other videos I've done on the 14 mil, we'll link them at the end. Also, all of Victoria's handles will be in the description below. Big up for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.